Hey everyone, it's Justine and I'm designing today for a blog hop and we are celebrating the new collection from Catherine Poover called The Perfect Reason. So in it you get some stamp sets, some dies and things like that all for a really great price. It's cheaper than buying them all individually and these Products are all exclusive for quite a while before they start coming out individually, so it's a lot of fun. Now before we get started, I just wanted to show off Catherine Puller's inks because they're absolutely fabulous. So as you can see, I they are made out of a foam pad and not a felt pad. And what's so cool about that is that these really solid stamps, you just tap the ink really lightly on there a couple of times and I mean really lightly and then you just stamp them down and solid ink stamp perfectly. The other cool thing is you can see I didn't wash this stamp in between I just um, stamped it again with the purple and I got no residue from the blue so what I generally do is just wipe it quickly and then I go on to my next ink. Now if you don't believe me you can see I just stamped with purple and I'm just going to run and grab my yellow ink to show you and so you can see I still have purple on my stamp a little bit on there that would normally mix with the purple and give me a really ugly yellow color usually with all other types of inks I find this happens all the time even if I wash them well and look it just stamps perfectly with yellow so these inks are unreal they're so great and again it's just a couple of light taps they'll stamp solid stamps amazingly they don't mix in between the colors when stamping a dark and then a light color they're phenomenal so I just wanted to show those before I started the video now if you've never shopped at Catherine Pooler before and you want to take a look at these inks I have a link below and it'll give you 15% off her store if you go through that link so be sure to check that out as well because that's a really great discount if you want to invest in some of these products now on to the actual collection, which doesn't include these inks, but it concludes this wonderful peacock stamp that I absolutely love. Now, I created this card and then I decided to do a video about it, so if my card looks slightly different than the one I showed at the beginning of the video, that would be why. Because I'm going to show you how you can stamp these things and you really get a different look every single time. So I stamped using something borrowed and I stamped the peacock's body. And I just stamped that in a very solid blue, royal blue color that is so perfect for peacocks. And then I grabbed the peacock tail or the peacock feathers here and I wanted to ink them up in several colors. Now for the original card, I just tapped the ink, tapped the ink directly to the stamp. But for this one, I'm going to use a blending tool and I'm just going to add some color onto those with some foams. And I'm switching my foams between each color so I don't contaminate my ink pads in any way. And then I'm going to be able to get a softer look than any harsh line that I would get from stamping directly from the ink pad to the stamp. So when I stamp these onto my paper you're gonna see a lovely mixture of color and of course if I'm creating this card again it's going to look different each and every time because uh, you can't just stamp it in the exact same colors when you're blending them like this so that's why it might look a little bit different but I liked both of them when I was all finished. Next I'm going to stamp the wing of it and I'm going to stamp that in the three colors as well although it seemed that the purple didn't show up all that well when I had stamped these. And then I'm just going to stamp on the inside. Now that's really cool about this stamp is it comes with three different insides for these wings and I created some really cool cards over on Stamp Nation using some of these and then as well on the blog hop. So um, on this card here. So you could use different ones and create lots of different patterns. And you can see the three colors showed up really nicely on the inside there. Now I just need to go in and die cut all of these things and I'm going to be using another die cut as well that comes in the set that you'll be able to check out. Now the dies come and I, you can see I cut them all apart already and I'm really scared of losing dies. Dies are not cheap and you don't want to lose them and not know where they come out to. So what I tend to do, I'm just going to give you a quick little tip here, is I cut apart all the dies, shave down the little sharp edges and I grab these from the Home Depot and they are just magnetic vent covers and they're a lot cheaper than buying craft related magnet sheets that are made for these because as we know if it's something in the crafting industry it generally costs a bit more and if you could just get them at your local hardware store and it's really perfect so what I do is I lay down all of my dies on them to organize them and just cut it down to the size that I need and slip them into the back of my stamp um, carrier. 
All right, so you can see I have the two new dies that come in this kit as well called Perfect Vines, and I have, I'm gonna stamp, actually die cut those twice each, so I'm gonna have four of them when I'm finished. And then I'm just going to place the coordinating dies over top of the peacock, the wing, and the tail feathers there so that they'll all cut out as well without me having to fussy cut. Now, as many of you know, I find it quite expensive to invest in dies that coordinate with my stamp sets themselves. I generally buy standalone dies only, but that's what I really love about these collections that Catherine Pooler does is that it comes with them automatically. It's a great price and I don't feel guilty about buying the coordinating dies. I don't know, it just is my mentality, I guess. Might be strange to everyone. Now I left two of those vines white and I'm going to take two other ones and I'm just going to apply some ink from my ink pad directly onto the paper and just dye those die cuts. So you can add a little or a lot of color. Once they dry, it'll, they'll lighten up quite a bit. So I'm adding the Aquatini and Fiesta Blue to both of these vine cuts and I think they look, both look really great on the front of the peacock cards when I'm all finished because they match the peacock that we already stamped these colors in and they're just really great coordinating dies that go really well with the peacock stamp I find. So now it's just a matter of putting all the pieces together and embellishing. So I'm grabbing this stamp here and I'm inking it in black ink. You have to be careful with the black because it does stain and you don't want to get it on the background of your stamps. So I stamped the You Are Fabulous and then I am adding some glue dots and attaching the vines that I did in color. Then I'm going to attach the white ones. I probably should have put a, a colored and then a white and then a colored and a white in order to lay them down, but I didn't. But I think it looks just fine. And I'm just going to trim the bottoms off of those vines. And I did that on both cards as well. I'm going to add the peacock using some 3D foam tape. And then I'm going to add the rest of them using 3D foam tape as well. I think just adding a little bit of dimension to the card is really fun. And having it go off of the card as well is a really cool idea. Now I'm going to show you at the very end how to, my both of my cards that I created. But before I do that, I just added some Nouveau drops in green, purple, and blue that coordinated with the peacock as well. So now I'm going to show you both of my cards. Now on one of them, I created a card panel on top of the card, and the other one I just created directly on the card. Both of them look fabulous, and I love the way that they turned out. So this is the one with the card panel that you can see, and you can see the different colors compared to the card that I created in the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video for the Catherine Pooler Perfect Reason collection, and if you're interested, you can head on over to my blog for the blog hop and see all the different products that are being used. You can check out two videos here, you can subscribe to my channel, or you can check out my blog. Thanks so much for watching.